Joins me now, Senator Cruz, welcome back to the story. Great to have you with us today, sir. Martha, great to be back with you. So what, what's your response to Tommy Tuberville, the senator, and others, including Mitt Romney, who say that they see this as him carrying out the policy of the Biden administration and they don't think that this is an impeachment offense? Look, I think the House is doing exactly the right thing. I think Alejandro Mayorkas should be impeached. I think he should have been impeached two years ago. You got to understand, it's not that Mayorkas is bad at his job. It's that he is openly defying federal law. He is not trying to secure the border. He is instead trying to accelerate illegal immigration. He is trying to process illegal immigrants faster. We've had over the, Joe Biden's entire tenure, 9.6 million illegal immigrants flood into this country. And Mayorkas is ignoring the laws on the books and, and is subjecting the American people to enormous risk. We've seen crime. We see children being brutalized. We see women being sexually assaulted. We see over 100,000 drug overdoses last year, the highest in history. 70% of that is Chinese fentanyl flooding across the southern border. And those body bags are very much the fault of Alejandro Mayorkas and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And, and so I, I salute the House for doing the right thing. It needs to be done. This needs to stop. So here's what Mayorkas said in his own behalf on Monday at the border. Watch this. We need Congress to provide the supplemental funding that President Biden requested months ago. Some have accused DHS of not enforcing our nation's laws. This could not be further from the truth. I mean, he's clearly, Senator, carrying out the policy of, of the White House. They are everything that they do and discuss as solutions is that they need faster processing power, essentially. Yep to get people across the border. They don't talk a whole lot about doing that safely uh, or humanely. They, they talk mostly about making sure they can increase processing power, right? Uh, that, that's exactly right. And, 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 and let's be clear, this is the policy of Joe Biden. This is the policy of Kamala Harris. This is the policy of virtually every Democrat in the Senate and virtually every Democrat in the House. They support open borders because they look at 9.6 million illegal immigrants and they see them as future Democrat voters, and they're willing to ignore the suffering and abuses that are happening because they see a political benefit to that. Yes, Mayorkas is following orders, but those orders are utterly lawless. And, and, and I gotta tell you, particularly since October 7th, since the war in Israel, the risk to this country of terrorists coming across our southern border, Martha, I think the odds of a major terrorist attack in the United States in 2024 are, are distressingly high. And, and Hamas and Hezbollah have been clear. They have called for a jihad for terrorist attacks right now in the United States. I spend a lot of time on our southern border. I can tell you the Border Patrol agents are very, very concerned about Hamas and Hezbollah terrorists coming across. And Joe Biden and Mayorkas, they don't care. They're looking the other way, and it's, and it's making the American people at much greater jeopardy. Well, you know what? We certainly hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, yeah. it's going to yes. reflect on some very uh, difficult, some very bad choices in terms of letting people across the border. And it's clearly playing with fire when it comes to yeah. who has been allowed in here that we know are on the terrorist watch list. So that, that's a very troublesome reality. Senator, thank you. Very good to see you today. Senator Chang Thanks, Cruz Martha. Appreciate Texas. it.